Bowles Improv Theater, known as the Pit. In one of the dressing rooms. Uh, one as in one of the dressing rooms, Midtown Manhattan, and uh, we are slowly preparing to do our show, Strange Things. Yeah, which the show time is in like what an hour and a half. The show that we started doing about a, well, actually exactly a year ago today is our one year anniversary of doing the show, and we started doing this because most of what we do is corporate events and private parties and they're usually very polite and uh, there's tricks we can't do, there's things we can't say, there's images we can't kind of uh, create and uh, content we can't deal with. And Not that we, we, we wanted to do a really dirty show, we just wanted to do a show our way where, we, where there was no loud music, there was no bad, we think, bad jokes and uh, and no kind of, uh, just kind of doing magic the way we'd like to do it, slow and quiet and careful, and just when we wanted to just do it ourselves in a way. Like, this is the first time that I'm really doing stage, on stage. It's true. You know, for a long, long time. Yeah. I never liked it. It's, and the thing is, as much as we love doing this show, it is, we, we look forward to doing this more than almost anything. We're so <laughs> thrilled to get out there. Yeah, it's really, it's really yeah. us. Um, yeah, fresh routines. I get a flash paper. Yeah, flash paper. I have cigarettes. I have uh, two cigarettes. lighter. Two. I have lighter. Um, I have a handkerchief. I have a beer there. Beer holders in. I have the so I have a lighter as well. Yeah. And what we're, we're still trying to we're, what we're trying to do is I guess do a stage show that felt more like yeah. it was exactly. intimate and quiet and still, but you're not going to be interrupted by a waiter or by someone coming in late to say hello to your yeah your your uh, spectator. You know, we want we wanted to try to give that feel. And we. I think we've gotten close, you know. Mm. We're still always trying to go with how, how much more still and specific can it be. Uh, that was the idea of doing strange things. It's quite sharp, yes? Mm -hmm. It's not a needle, but it is quite, it's a spike actually. It's yeah. not even a needle. Okay. Thank you. Would you like a mint? No, thank you. <laughs> it's polite to ask. <laughs> and then we started writing a couple of brand new, brand new routines just for the show. Two, I guess, all in all now. Mm -hmm. The mouse and then the, the gospel piece. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be those two. Yep. <laughs> the ideas are bigger. The ideas are bigger, and it's, it's, it has to be a bigger trick. It has to be one that has more physical substance or more uh, plays to a larger crowd. Uh, but in some ways, I, I find you write for close up anyway, but you, you have these openings that if someone says something to you, you can, you can go with that. Or if you, like, if, you, if you need to stop, you can. So you have this way of writing close-up that you, it's a bit more flexible. In this case, we're probably not going to be interrupted. We're probably not going to have someone exactly. shout. They might, exactly. and we can deal with that, but like, it's, it's much more formal. Um, we're trying to have that balance of it being conversational, but also controlling the audience and, and keeping control of them and, and keeping this rhythm and it feeling like a show and not just two guys up there you know, dicking around and going, um, well, uh, yeah. uh, how to do this thing. Yeah. Because uh, our scripts, the close-up, are almost always written as a dialogue. Yeah. We anticipate the fact that people are going to talk. That's about correct. Right? Yeah. We want them to. You said that really well. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it's funny. A, 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 some of the pieces we we do in this are close-up pieces. We've moved to the stage, which is not not always a great idea. Cause it's still a small trick in a, in a bigger right. venue. But it's just doing those tricks in a, in a slightly bigger way and. Uh, and we're trying, we're trying to experiment. We, we've seen it as an ongoing experiment of how still and slow and, and not uh, borscht belt can we be as we're doing these things, as we're doing magic. Yeah. Uh, like we, we, keep referring to, we keep referring to the fact that, our thing, that our, the show is still in workshop, it's not even though now it's been a fucking year. It also, I mean, doing something with four hands is one thing, but also you can say more things as two people than you can as one. It sounds <laughs> obvious. Right. Uh, so one Sunday, 25 years ago, an eight-year-old boy saw his first ever magic trick. Um, but it's true. Like, I mean, there's a piece in the show that it's, that's um, a trick oh. with three ropes. That's a, we, we do it and talk about gospel magic and being in church and everything, which is all from his life. Um, because I never really went to church, but he did it and grew up in the South. But the thing is, he can't do the trick and he can't say those words because then it, it, the whole thing will just fall apart. Because I'm doing the trick and he's talking, it becomes this kind of two-person two routine. It's really kind of a one-person routine. You know? Yeah. So what's best and worst um, about working with me? <laughs> Didn't really answer the question at no, all. No, not at all. It was no. really great where you went with it, though. I, I know, really like I know, the, know. the metaphor he fell into. Uh, he's tall. <laughs> he's, tall. he's a tall guy. He's a good thing, I suppose. And the worst thing? <laughs> I smell bad. Funny <laughs> and comedy. <laughs> We're all afraid of something. 
Everyone in this room has a catalog of fears. For some of you, it's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> you know, speaking in public. <laughs> Yet for others, it's the invasion of personal space. <laughs> I mean, we, our personalities are very different. We agree on we agree on on, on on ideas and everything and what we want to say, but our personalities could not be more different. You know, mm -hmm. like what Matt says, we fret, but he frets more than I do. Oh, I fret, generally yeah. speaking, very much more than I do. But it's funny though, where I I I see if we mess something up, like oh, well, we now know that can happen. That'll never happen again. We we'll get it right the next show. Right. Prakash, something wrong goes wrong, like a thing that he couldn't help, like a, a mechanism fails or something, or just something goes wrong. He's inconsolable for a good a good twenty minutes. He's inconsolable, just pissed off, angry. He doesn't, he doesn't really get angry. He doesn't really get mad. He doesn't really get mad in real life about other things that I get mad about. But he gets he gets mad about that, and it's and it's sincere anger. But I, and it's like I'm like, but you know, there's another show coming up. We'll get it right. So it's it's, it's fun seeing how we deal with the trials and tribulations of performance, live performance. And, and, he, and also, too, he's seen some of the things that I've been dealing with in the past years, being on stage more of, of uh, and though I know you have been on stage, it's been a long time, of, of you walk out in front of that audience, and the thing you've been rehearsing that you know, your body just knows how to do it, your hands do it, you walk out in front of that audience, and it all goes to hell. <laughs> just just falls to the fucking pieces, you know? And he's been watching that happen. I, 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 was, I would always come off stage and be like, God damn it, why, that didn't, work? why didn't that work? He's like, oh, it's fun, man. But then now that he's on stage, he's like, yeah, it's a little pain in the ass how the audience changes everything. <laughs> <laughs> the thing you think you know, whatever they, whatever's in the air, whatever you, you're, you're so in your head and listen, and you're afraid because oh, they're not laughing or not, you know, you're, you're aware of every move you make. Yes. Yep. I have a marker pen, box of Altoids in my pocket here. After that, we go into the mouth. So I go back here. I take everything out of my pockets. I take the, the mic off. Put it down. Yeah. You get the mouse into the pouch. I go outside with the box. <coughs> uh, it can be a stone wall table. when you're trying to trying to argue about a point, when you're trying to talk about uh, what's what I think is wrong or what I think is good about the show, if he disagrees with me, he, he has a very lawyerly kind of equivocal way of going like, you know, of, of going like, that's fine, true. fair enough, all right, fine, that's fine, all right, fair enough, okay. I'm like, no, fucking fire back at me, tell me how you feel, is it, is it no, there's nothing, there's no, it's talk. it's just, it's like yelling, and it's, it gets to the point where I'm exasperated yelling at this brick wall, it won't fucking fire back at me. It's non-committal. Mm. Non-committal, it's, it's non very non-committal. Non and, and rather than ever say, I'm wrong, which I, that's know, not true. The best thing someone can ever say is, is I'm wrong, true. and I'm sorry. Or, or better yet, if you're not wrong, say like, I'm sorry you felt that way. I've said both. <laughs> no, you've never fucking said that. Of course I've said that before. Say it now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry you feel See, that. you can't even do it. <laughs> it does not come out of your mouth easily. It's like a foreign fucking language. It's like you're speaking Jordanian. Oh, no, come on, man. I've, I've said that before. You, know, you can't. You'd like, he, he, does, he never says, like, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm pissed, he's like, I'm sorry you feel that way. That's all I want to hear. It's not that he's wrong. It's just that I'm sorry it made you feel that way. If you felt that way, I'm sorry. That's all I want to hear. But I never hear it. I always hear, like, yeah. oh, fair enough. You're set? Yeah, I believe so, right? Right. Okay. Good. 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 Say goodnight, Thank you very much.